Hi, welcome to Detailing Wheels Back to Basics. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to clean your wheels and tires properly. Now, in my opinion, the wheels and tires are usually the first part that you will clean of your car, just while the ground is still dry. We don't wanna be kneeling in pools of water, basically. Product-wise, you only need a few products for this, and that is gonna be either a wheel brush or a wash mitt. So in this case, we're gonna be using the Captain Crevice and a smaller detailing brush for cleaning the tires and the faces of the alloys. Chemical wise, you just need an all purpose cleaner to clean the tires and a wheel cleaner to clean the barrels of the wheel and the spokes of the wheel. You will also need either a pressure washer or a hose pipe as well, just to make life a little bit easier and a bucket of rinse water as well, just to keep your brushes and your mitts nice and clean or as clean as possible whilst we're going through this. So to begin with then, you're gonna to want to fill up your bucket with clean water. And obviously also make sure you've got the pressure washer out or the hose pipe and give the wheels a quick blast down just to knock off as much of the loose dirt and grime as possible. So with all your products ready then, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean the tires. And the reason we do this is to remove any previous tire dressings, remove any road grime and get them nice and clean, ready for applying a tire dressing later on. So apply your all-purpose cleaner, in this case, total wipeout. Start from the top and work in a clockwise direction. You can go anti-clockwise if you wish, it's just a case of being methodical. So I always work top down and go clockwise. Allow that to sit just for 30 seconds or so. Then with your detailing brush, just working that product into the tires and you should notice that the suds turn brown. That means all the dirt and any previous tire dressings is now coming out. Rinse it off and then do it again if it's really, really dirty, just to make sure you've got it all out. And then once it is clean, the suds should go white. Before I continue, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Dodo Juice for sponsoring this video. So everything you see me use today, you've got a chance of winning that yourself. All you need to do is leave a comment below, let me know why you think you deserve to win this, and I'll just pick a winner at random. So you will be winning the all-purpose cleaner, Total Wipeout, the wheel cleaner, Mellow Yellow, a large detailing brush, a Captain Crevice wash mitt, and also the nut plug, which is for cleaning the nuts on the wheels. So back into the process then, with the tires all clean, it's now a case of moving on to the wheels. First of all, you wanna get the product into the barrels, just allow that to soak for a little while, and then spray the faces of the wheels as well. And then either with a wheel brush or the Captain Crevice, get your hand into the barrels and give them a really, really good clean. And the reason for this, is A, it looks better with clean barrels. It's an area that most people do neglect. And B, it keeps your wheels in a much better condition further down the line, so it avoids any pitting and other defects associated with alloy wheels. So yeah, get right in there with your brush or your wash mitt. So once you've cleaned the barrels, then obviously give the mitt a rinse out. Apply a little bit of product to the wash mitt if you wish, and then wrap your hands around the back of the spokes and clean the backs of the spokes as well. Again, it's an area you won't necessarily see, but it's an area that will corrode over time. So it's just a case of keeping on top of that and keeping the wheels in as good a condition as possible for as long as possible. By this stage then, we've pretty much done with the wash mitt and the larger brushes. You want the detail brush now. And again, just make sure you've got plenty of products on the face of the wheels and apply a little bit of product to the brush as well. I generally start off by cleaning the outer rim of the wheel first. So again, I start at 12 o'clock. You can start at the dust cap if you wish. Again, it's just a case of being methodical and work in a clockwise direction. Once you've done the outer edge of the wheel, then it's a case of, again, being methodical and doing one spoke at a time. And don't forget to get the face of the alloy as well. So you get right into the sides of the spoke and then the front of the spoke. And then to finish off with then, you just wanna clean the wheel nuts. And this is another area that often gets overlooked. And again, you can just use either the small detail brush or the uh, nut plug from Dodo Juice that is designed to get right in there and give those wheel nuts a nice clean. And finally, once it's all done, give it a rinse and move on to the next wheel. It is worth mentioning as well, you can do your tar removal and your iron removal at this stage. However, that's coming up in a later video. So we'll discuss that later on. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please make sure you smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do consider subscribing. We've got more of these episodes coming up as well over the next few weeks. Again, thank you very much to Dodo Juice. If you'd like to try and win these products, just leave a comment below telling me why you think you should win these and I'll pick someone at the very end of the series. I'll pick all the winners for all the products. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.